So a little while ago I made this device. It's a block holding a spring attached to a lump of laminated steel that's passing through this core and terminates between these two magnets. You pass a current between that and core, the steel is deflected between two magnets in relation to the amount of current going through the core. Well, it's quite a um, efficient device and it works quite well and my son's always nagging me about what use of things. So I did a bit more research and I discovered that these vibrating root devices were used in speakers. So I built this. So we've got exactly the same thing, only this time what I've done here is on the reed I've attached a little cap and I put a bit of bent brass going to a plug here that's attached to actually it's a styrofoam bowl and it's put in an acrylic frame and the frame's held rigid to the base by just gluing it there. Now if you look at the magnets you can see that they've been put against the actual reed. Now the magnets aren't actually fixed they're just resting on this bit of steel underneath them here so to stop the magnets sticking to the reed I've put a couple of little flaps of rubber in there that I cut from a rubber band. Okay, and that basically forms what's called a balanced armature speaker. Now these were really popular in the 1920s through to about the 1950s and they're still used in uh, Navy ships because they uh, are immensely efficient and they're used as a communication device when all the rest of the power goes down. They're um, sound powered telephones and if you have a look on the internet on sound powered telephones then um, you'll find quite a lot of information about them uh, and how to actually construct them. So, there's my little balanced armature speaker, and I've got this attached up to my amplifier, and I'm going to play a little bit of music through it for you. Okay, now I think that's really cute. I, I like the device a lot actually. It, it's very pretty. Much prettier than a normal speaker. There's quite a lot wrong with this particular implementation incidentally. Uh, and mostly it's because I made a few design, design decisions. Uh, I quite like it being on view. So I put the block of the drive mechanism down here below the bowl of the speaker. Uh, and that means that I've had to attach this arm here to it. Now this arm is obviously vibrating in itself and it's vibrating sideways and this way. Uh, and all those extra vibrations are loss of power. You get a much better response out of it if this block was directly behind the cone and there was a small push rod that really just went in and out between the vibrating reed and the cone of the speaker. That certainly would be a huge improvement to it. The material of the cone is um, expanded polystyrene, I think. It's just one of those um, throwaway bowls that you get down the local supermarket. Uh, probably not the best material. Um, a card or paper cone would be better. Uh, and I might actually go to a speaker and, and um, tear out the cone of that and do another implementation of this where everything's in line and this is a paper cone instead of this polystyrene cone and that should get us a, a better response and um, a better output from it and a much nicer sound. The other thing is the magnet's not being fixed means that I've had to put the rubber in there to stop them snapping to it uh, and of course in order to get the road to vibrate it's having to vibrate against the resistance of the rubber um, that again is going to be a power loss if I bothered to fix those magnets down so that the reed vibrated within its um, free space then we get again another better power transition. The other thing that's wrong with it is um, the coil was constructed to have quite a lot of free space around the iron bar uh, and that's just a weakness of the field really. That coil could be um, much much closer to the bar and again we'd get a better power transmission out of that. So those are the faults with it but on the whole I, I think it does a really good job for what it's meant to do uh, and I really quite like the thing. Uh, I think it's a lot prettier than a lot of speakers that you can buy. And the sound output really isn't that bad. <laughs>